to Digital Wandering. And today I just want to introduce you to a 2010 MacBook, currently running High Sierra. And it's all been upgraded, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it also has a, a solid state drive in here from the original mechanical drive. Uh, this is a great machine. Got this about 2018, so I didn't get this brand new, but it's in wonderful condition. It's about as great a condition as it can be. I think um, the seller, I haven't purchased merch, just, um, multiple things from the seller, but uh, they do a really good job on um, refurbishing these machines because it, it, it just ran and looked like it was brand new. And when I had to open it up and do the upgrades, it looked great inside too, so they do a great job. Uh, got this on eBay. Now the thing is, I just dialed this back because I had this on Mac OS Catalina um, as soon as, uh, or as recently as about a couple days ago. And I had to dial it back to High Sierra. I use the, because this is the most recent operating system that this machine will operate on. It's like the last of the plastic MacBooks that uh, Apple came out with in the early uh, or mid 2000s after they made the uh, change over to Intel machines. This is the last of those plastic MacBooks and um, a end of an era basically because now this these are the last machines that are still technically supported. How High Sierra probably would be dropped by Apple soon but as of right now, at least on Wikipedia, it's still listed as a um, supported machine. Last update you received in High Sierra, I think, was back in September 2020, and it's in October 2020 right now. I don't know how Apple announces that a uh, uh, operating system's unsupported. I think um, maybe they issue a press release or something like that. Uh, but that should be happening soon, as soon as they... Um, release uh, Big Sur and that hasn't happened yet but that could be happening at any time now uh, but the reason why I dialed this back to High Sierra because I was using I used the DOS Dude 1 patch uh, to uh, put this on Catalina and uh, you can find the video on YouTube on the instructions how to how to uh, use the patcher instructions were great um, the update went perfect and I had pretty good performance on Catalina uh, but the reason why I dialed it back to High Sierra is just because that um, uh, Catalina a couple things just didn't work that I didn't wasn't aware of you know when you use that DOS tube patch you're not able to receive updates from Apple so it will push through the OS version to your machine but you do not get um, updates from Apple so you're kind of stuck on the version that you're on once the update is processed and uh, for whatever reason my um, DVDs uh, DVD drive on this machine stopped working so it wouldn't mount DVDs so I decided to um, roll it back which is kind of difficult I, I found some directions online uh, to roll it back to a previous version and those are, and it didn't work uh, the only thing that worked is I had to wipe the hard drive and then it w I was able to install High Sierra back onto this machine so it now works and now that it's back onto High Sierra uh, the DVD drive works and it has a DVD mounted right now the movie The Dreamers it's not showing this should be a blank screen right now because of the copy protection but uh, the DVD does work. Um, I'm using the record. Um, I'm using QuickTime to record the screen, and when you do that, it leaves the screen blank. But um, it wouldn't even do this one on Catalina. It wouldn't even mount the DVD, so that's perfect. It would just eject it. Uh, but it's working perfectly fine, even though it looks like it's not on this video. So I'm happy. So I think I'm gonna use this going forward not as much on the internet even though it's still a much a very capable uh, internet machine and probably just mostly use as a media machine going forward because I have other um, 
laptops that um, are running more current operating systems and and ours tend to be my go-to machines for internet but this would be excellent as a um, media machine and plus I have a ton of DVDs so I'm very happy that this DVD player is working again but yeah this is um, first of many reviews I have tons of machines and tons of things that I want to talk about on tech so uh, stay tuned